I'm Mike Fibus. We're here at the Connected Health Conference in Boston. I'm here with Reed Oaks. He just got off of the stage here. Reed is head of HP's healthcare unit. And he talked about extending the perimeter of care, something we're going to be need to be doing as the population ages. Yeah, absolutely. It's it's really about kind of creating an ecosystem. I, I think in, in the connected health space, we've been really diligent about creating standards and, and ways that data interoperability can happen to be able to you know touch the right patients with the right kinds of technologies. I, I think that's great. Uh, but I think the, the next wave of it is really looking at what are the actionable services and technologies we can wrap around the individual patient relationships to be able to make it a, a much better, more cohesive solution for our, for our customers and for our patients. The patient is not in, you know, in healthcare clinical facilities 99.9 something percent yeah. of the time. Well, it's, it's being able to kind of work with healthcare facilities and, and organizations that are that are delivering healthcare both within their walls as well as being able to even expand beyond the four walls of the hospital system. When you when you look at that, you're looking at dense urban populations, uh, you're looking at remote uh, in in more structured environments, and even into the deserts of sub-Saharan Africa. At the end of the day, all of those folks need access to healthcare, uh, no matter where they are, no matter what kinds of um, illnesses they might ultimately have. So, how do you kind of look and be flexible and agile enough to be able to deliver that care is really really kind of the work that we're doing yeah I mean flexibility is is key to be able to mix and match not only components but but the UI if you will yeah I, th I think the technology is important I, I think uh, you know we've done a great job in the in the industry of, of kind of managing across ecosystems but the the challenges become then how do you kind of do that interoperability of the solution how do you how do you build kind of that modularity to say let's take this out and put this one in um, depending on the needs of the patient or the participant in the program so exactly modularity and, and flexibility is key and that's something you're uh, collaborating now with Intel on? Correct. We have, a, we have a broad ecosystem, but really deep partnerships over the years with Intel in terms of how we uh, leverage some of their technologies, like aggregation technologies, um, to be able to bring together the data, uh, but then also to be able to visualize that data, make it ultimately visible, um, and expose it to the patient to be a lot more than just a, 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 a page of charts, but to be able to actually start to institute uh, intelligence at the edge, be able to actually change now the way that we coach a patient, the way that we help them understand the state of their illness and, and what they're going to do about it over the long term. You need the data, you need to be able to bring all that data together and aggregate it and be able to service and activate off of it. Yeah, and to make it bulletproof, not only from a security point of view, but uh, from a user point of view. Security is paramount. We have, we have more than twice the number of malware attacks in healthcare than we have in any, any other industry. It's really the number one high value target in the world for, for data um, hacking. And so at the end of the day, our, our goal is to be able to build the most secure platform for our, for our customer implementations, building, a, building a, ultimately a platform that is the best to be able to support all of the digital health initiatives around the world. It really sounds like uh, HP is headed in the right direction now. And with the collaboration with with Intel, it sounds like you're going to get things done for remote patient monitoring. I, I think the Intel collaboration builds a, a tremendous opportunity and platform um, to be able to facilitate the further you know, building of the ecosystem around digital health uh, and looking at really the adoption globally is, is uh, we think it's going to really carry out. Reed, thanks so much for taking the time. I know you've got a lot to do here and a great speech, by the way. Thanks, thanks Mike, for having me.